Hi, it's Pavel, and we have another homework to do. It's uh, chapter 5, exercise 37 from C Sharp 2012, how to program. And we are going to create a program that calculates a factorial of an integer. Now, in case you don't know what factorial is, is this is the uh, basic formula. But I think it's easy to understand from an example like 5 factorials equals 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which equals 120. So basically, uh, we will have to do some looping. Uh, and it shouldn't be too difficult, so let's, let's get to it. Now we'll need some, uh, some variables, of course. Let's do integer number, which will be the number that the user enters. Uh, factorial, which is what uh, we will calculate, and since we are going to use a uh, in uh, while loop, we need to use some uh, counter. So let's do counter. And uh, actually, you know what? Let's initialize them all to zero. It doesn't have to be, but it's just it's better. I like to initialize my values. Especially counter should be initialized actually. And uh, let's ask the user for the input. So uh, console dot right line. That's the classic. Please enter. Uh, in this case, we are calculating in a factorial of a positive integer. So please enter a positive integer. And uh, I will calculate its factorial there. And now number will equal, we need to convert it to integer because we are capturing an actual number, not a string. I mean, user will enter a string, but we need it in a in an integer format. So convert to integer console dot read line. So whatever user enters on that line, we will convert to integer. Now if he enters some nonsense, like something like that, you, that obviously cannot be converted to integer and we'll get an error. But uh, I'm not going to be error checking. Uh, we're just going to concentrate on the calculation and the loop. Because that's what this exercise is all about. Now, uh, what we need to do, we need to, uh, whatever number enters, let's say it's 5, now we have to multiply 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, calculate, I'm going to assign the value that the user entered to my factorial. In other words, if user enters 5, factorial will enter, uh, equal 5. That will be the initial value that, we, that will be used for the multiplication. And um, our counter will equal the number minus 1, because this is the loop. This is our counter for the loop. So if user enters 5, are, we will loop five times, but starting from zero. So, in other words, counter will equals four. You'll see it in action right now. So, while counter is greater than zero, we will do the multiplication. So, factorial times equals counter. And we will decrease the counter by one after each, uh, after each loop. So again, user will enter, let's say, 5. So our factorial equals 5, and our counter, counter equals 4. So we will loop 5 times, starting from 4. Oops. So it's, uh, I pressed the, pressed the, accidentally pressed the key. Anyway, so 
we go into the loop. Now factorial equals 5, so encounter equals 4, so we will multiply it by 4. 5 times 4. Counter is decreased to 3. So then we'll go over here. 3 is greater than 0, so factorial, whatever is the result, is 5 times 4 is the result from the previous uh, uh, loop. Now, in this iteration, it's going to be uh, 5 times 4 times 3. Counter now is equals 2, greater than 0, so times 2, then 1, it's greater than 0, so it's going to be times 1. And now it will equal 0, which is not greater than 0, so the loop exits. And uh, all we have to do is uh, output the, uh, the result, right line, factorial of Let's say, let's format it uh, like a number is, and uh, gonna be another number, and it's, so it will be the original number. In other words, if you read factorial of, of 5 is the factorial that we will calculate, that we calculated, which in case the number equals 5, then factorial will be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 120. So console.read line, so we can read the output. And that's really the whole program. So let's uh, test it. Here it is. All right, so let's try with 5. And here it is, factorial equals 120. Now, let's uh, do the same thing but with debugging so you can see step by step what is happening. So I'll enter 5, and here. Now, factorial equals 5, as you can see, and counter equals 4. So while counter is greater than 0, we go to the first loop. So our factorial equals 20, because it's 5 times counter is 4. So it equals 20. We'll decrease the counter to 3, but from another multiplication. So 20 times 3 is 60. Decrease the number of on counter, which is now 2. It's still greater than 0. So 60 times 2 is 120. Decrease the counter again, which is now 1. And that's the last iteration. And 120 times 1 is 120. Now counter equals zero, which will exit the loop because uh, counter is not greater than zero, which is the condition of the loop. And we will output the uh, result. Oh, here's my screen, so that's that's how it works. It's very simple, nothing to it. Uh, like I said, you basically start from the highest, which is instead of going to uh, one times two times three times two, I mean, sorry, 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5, you start from 5, which is how the factorial should uh, start anyway. 5 equals 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Oops. And uh, that's all. So, hope you enjoyed it. Hope uh, it helps you. And I'll see you next time. Take care.